self-loving kindness meditation infused with Peter Hess singing bowls. Peter Hess Academy USA. First, find a comfortable place to sit or lie where you will not be disturbed. If you are sitting, sit upright with your spine, neck, and the crown of your head pulled skyward. If you are lying, place your hands gently by your side if it feels comfortable to you. Gently pull your shoulder blades back and down, raising your rib cage slightly. These small shifts will create a true physical openness for your heart, an opening consistent with the positive emotions you aim to cultivate. Gently lower your gaze to reduce distractions If you are comfortable, close your eyes. In this meditation, you will hear my voice infused with the gentle sounds of Peter Hess singing bowls, followed by periods of silence. In the silence, continue to say the phrases of loving kindness silently to yourself. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. We will end by bringing awareness to the sound of three taps of a higher pitched singing bowl. Take a few deep breaths and bring your awareness to your heart. Visualize how each in breath affects your heart physically. Consider how each in-breath nourishes you as your heart drinks in precious oxygen. The passing of oxygen through your lungs and into your beating heart and bloodstream is the most basic and constant connection between you and the world around you. This simple act of breathing knits together all that is within you with all that lies beyond your skin. Each new breath creates a unity of life as all people share the nourishment that the Earth's atmosphere freely offers. Gently bring yourself back to your natural breath now, making no special effort to breathe in any particular way. Continue to rest your awareness on your heart. Check in now with how your body is feeling. Do you have any aches or pains? Any worries or areas of tension? Or are you excited and caught up in eager anticipation? 
whatever the feeling, there is no need to push it aside. Pleasant or not, let that feeling in. Accept it as part of what it means to be you at this moment. Meet the feeling with curiosity and openness. Note how it registers in your body and how those sensations change subtly from one moment to the next. Whether your current experience feels pleasant or unpleasant, just witness and accept it. Whatever your perception is about events being presented to you in your life, witness and accept those events. See them as part of the inevitable ups and downs that all people experience. Just as surely as all people face challenging and joyful times, all people, all the world over, yearn to feel good, safe, peaceful, and healthy. You can choose to wish yourself well. You deserve this kindness as much as anyone. Begin by lightly calling to mind your own good qualities that you would like to cultivate. Let these qualities remind you of what's good in you. What touches your heart about yourself? Then gently offer the classic wishes of loving kindness to yourself, choosing phrasings that best speak to your heart. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. See yourself as being a dear friend to yourself. It might help to first imagine the warmth and tenderness you might feel toward an infant or a kitten, as innocent as these small creatures can be. Experience how your face softens and your heart expands in their presence. Now, imagine directing these same feelings of warmth and tenderness to yourself. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. 
May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. Between each phrase, pause for just a moment to drop your awareness down to your body, to your heart in particular. Note and accept whatever sensations arise there. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. Know that this practice is more than the mere repetition of phrases. The phrases simply open a door to a chance for you to condition your heart to be more open, accepting, and kinder to yourself. Becoming aware of your heart region May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. At times, you'll find that your attention has strayed from the phrases. This may happen a lot. Don't worry, it's normal. Simply begin again by gently bringing your awareness back to the phrases. There is no need to berate yourself for losing your focus. Each new moment of beginning again presents another chance to experiment with the spirit of loving kindness. Can you acknowledge your lapse while at the same time gently returning to the phrases? What would it take to set aside all harshness and begin again with a kind and loving attitude towards yourself? May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. 
may I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. May I feel safe and protected. May I feel happy and peaceful. May I feel healthy and strong. May I live with ease. Now allow yourself to let go of the words and phrases of the loving kindness meditation while keeping the essence of the feeling within your heart while the soothing sounds of the singing bowls wash over you.
as you end this practice, know that it's completely natural for you to treat yourself kindly, even if you may forget to do so quite often. Know that you can generate this tender and loving attitude towards yourself anytime, just by reminding yourself that this dance exists and how at ease it makes you feel. Difficulties and obstacles will still arise. Suffering happens, but you do not need to add to that suffering by treating yourself harshly. You can instead offer the ancient wishes of loving kindness to yourself. Thank you for allowing me this time to offer you guidance in the self-loving kindness practice infused with the gentle sounds and vibrations of Peter Huss singing bowls. This is Gina Armstrong with the Peter Huss Academy USA.